I'm Stephen Kabelgaard Grønning, and I'm here to talk and be educated. I'm here with my whole team, and I'm the CEO of that team called Bitter Dwarf. We are working on a game called Forst, and we've been doing that for two and a half years since we started. It's an ambitious title, and it's for multiple platforms, but not touch devices. It's basically a gladiator game where you are, as a team, one to four players, uh, forced to fight. That's why it's called Forced, and uh, you have to sort of fight for your freedom. And uh, it's really, really focused on cooperative mechanics. So you basically have, uh, well, the most unique part of it is a player-shared small spirit ball. So it's almost like playing football in the arena, but it's reversed. It's totally complex to talk about, but <laughs> it's to pique your interest. In relation to Unity, We've been uh, using that from the start. We actually met David at a bar and he talked a lot about it and we were offered to try out the pro version already from the start and using the asset server. Uh, and that was really, really, really helpful when we were like 10 plus people. Um, then we could sort of get the uh, software aligned in a proper order. And that was hard in the start. So that's one of the key benefits. And then also to have like a pipeline already from the start because we were noobs. So uh, that was nice. Uh, the visual representation of the scene and so on was really really helpful from the start. What has it been like to build a, a community through Kickstarter? It's been like you start out with your with your project on Kickstarter and you start to get some fans who actually just like the imagery or the videos or things that they basically hadn't played the game but they like the idea and the things that we pitch and then uh, they actually become really really aggressive uh, in a good way once we start to having a dialogue with them. And then we've really taken that by the horn, so to say. So we started like really inviting them into our living room. So we, we live streamed for 30 days and they really just got to know how we were as persons, basically, because they could just zoom in and check us out. Uh, and then we took that up a notch and started to invite people to our place. And they've been actually sleeping there and uh, having meals with us. And, and that way we have created at least a couple of uh, really hardcore evangelists and I think that's a nice way to, to engage with your community.